Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this amazing episode of White Paper Podcast. It's always a joy to be live on your screens. Thank you for all your love and support, for your comments, your shares, for the questions, the banter, the comment sections buzzing in each episode. We're so grateful. Now, if you're new to the White Paper Wisdom family, you want to go through uh, the archives look at all the episodes you missed in season one and now season two with all the amazing guests sharing wisdom dropping its hot hot with warmth and wit today my guest is very special you know that they are guests and they are special guests this is a special guest <laughs> she has a very interesting story she has a bubbly personality enthusiastic she's been through so many things but she's come out stronger and tougher she's dynamic ladies and gentlemen receive right now the entertaining hilarious exuberant joyous enthusiastic dynamic talented <laughs> insightful wow. glowing wow. juliana <laughs> <laughs> You are very, very welcome. Thank you. Thank very you welcome. It's good to have me. you on the set from another set because you told me you shot all night. Uh, yes, yes. So you shot all night. Yes, I You did. are a star, but you are not a shooting star, uh, even though you shot all night. Uh, please don't start yet. No, we are just starting. <laughs> don't yet start. So I shouldn't start yet. Yes. But I can start as a starter. To start her <laughs> as a starter to turn on the light. You know, the, you know starter and turn on the light. Uh -huh. Remember that starter, that cylindrical thing that they mm -hmm. use in fluorescent tubes? Mm -hmm. It's called starter. So I can start her talking. Okay. I think you lost me now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm. Um, it's too. Again. It's too early. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so please take it easy. All right. Never mind. We're gonna have a lot of this, but I'm just trying to take it easy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I didn't take it for granted because you could have just said no, mm -hmm. and you have a very busy schedule, so I didn't take it for granted. We're gonna go into some very exciting conversations yeah. before yeah. we do. Let's go on a little break and enjoy this. We'll be right back to dive into the content for the day. Please put your hand together for B-Dams as he comes to share with us how we all start. Can we celebrate the amazing, the author, the singer, the mentor? But we know say God now, Papa, and we have the right genes in us. Bonupe, you are very rude. Wait, wait. The question I just have to see somebody that knows something about gay. That's then they will not be put. Take your bitch and go. It's not a. Dude, don't underline now. Now you go talk. Um. I'll mark your screen. Some people still didn't get it. My name is Ife. My name is Oremokoli. Good evening, B Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fire. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. All right, so welcome back, Juliana. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yes, thank you, there's, thank you. There's this thing me. that you have, which mm. is you just you light up spaces, right? Mm. Do you work for Nepa? Uh, <laughs> I work for the light of the world. Come I on. am the daughter of the light of the world. Come on. Of hey. <laughs> okay, because you are the light of the world, he delights in you. Uh, he delights in me because yes. I am the apple of his eyes. Come on! <laughs> ah, your royal highness. <laughs> I don't know what to say again. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but but you have this this joyous disposition, mm. this exuberant disposition, and I know that it's a scarce resource these days. Like a lot of people are just like very, their faces are very strong. Like <laughs> their faces are stronger than the Nigerian economy. They are just very, you know, <laughs> ice kongba. <laughs> and I know you've been through stuff and you, I, I, well, I don't know if you're a billionaire yet. So you're also possibly feeling aspects of this Nigerian economy. How do you keep your glow going through different seasons of your life? How do you maintain, is it the optimism, the positivity, 
the joy. Mm. And then when you do have down moments, or do you ever have down moments? I do have down <laughs> okay. moments. But when you do have down moments, how do you, you know, carry through? Okay. Um, so let me start with the first question you asked. I think the most important thing for me is my joy is I derive my joy from God mm. and having gone through a really sad season I mm. know <laughs> I know what it means to be very sad uh -huh. and you don't know that you are sad you don't know that you are without joy you don't mm. know that you are depressed until mm. your prayer point turns to God I just want to laugh Wow! I just want to smile genuinely and wow. because of my personality I can, I mean, those period I was going to work and I would mm. still go into any room and just be mm. like, hey, what's wow. up, what are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so then you can, you, you can differentiate between being genuinely happy mm -hmm. and just being happy because, yeah. you know, people want to see you happy. Yeah. And so until i think until i went through that phase i didn't really appreciate what it means to be joyful mm -hmm. and to be happy and what it even does to your soul even Good. to your health mm. but sometimes when you're unhappy it it <laughs> it does a lot to your health right so um so i derive my joy from god i derive my joy from everything Everything that has to do with God. If I'm down, mm. I do have down times more yeah. often than anybody would actually believe. Because I also, I live in my head a lot. So yeah. I think about everything. Best believe wow. that when I'm done with this podcast on my way home, I'm thinking, oh my God, ah, how did that podcast go? What <laughs> I'm thinking Analysis. a lot. Yes. So, um, and then I'm down a lot of times. But people don't really know, except you're really close, close to me. Like yeah. really close to yeah. me. Then you can tell that I'm just laughing. Well, oh, my okay. mind, I know, okay. okay. What's wrong with you? Uh -huh. But, um, and when I'm down like that, I think I just need to get away with God. I know? see. Because there's, you know, like there's so much noise mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. world. Absolutely. There's noise on social media. There's noise at work. There's yeah. noise everywhere. So sometimes your soul just needs that quietness. Yeah. Um, to be able to get back your joy and you just need you know to study the word mm -hmm. you need to just listen to worship songs yeah. you need to listen to the audio book the sermons and yeah and then your joy your joy you pick is it up restored. again yes. okay so some what, what i'm hearing you say is god is the source of your joy absolutely and you how do you carry that through practically so you were on set all night long mm -hmm. right and then when you took i didn't know you were on set <laughs> till earlier of this morning yeah. and then you came to our set mm. how do you translate that practically so someone's like i don't want to read the bible i don't want to listen to music i just want to be happy when you were making those prayer points of i just want to laugh Mm -hmm. because now you make people laugh <laughs> right <laughs> your skits your content and all of that mm -hmm. How did you move from I want to say let's say philosophical, spiritual mm -hmm. to practical, tactical? Did you cry out certain seasons? Oh yes, yeah. There's you have to cry. You must cry. The tears. But I ever think that out. crying is a sign of weakness. No, it's not a weakness. I used to think it's a weakness too, because growing up I thought that when you cry, you're weak. So mm. I like to bottle like a lot of things in. I don't like to. Did you work in front work of for a Nigerian bottling company? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stop. Because I, I really don't want to. I, I, I don't believe you were using coke at any time. I I were Even not though, using coke. I, I were not. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though your acting <laughs> is fantastic <laughs> and you're very sprightly. Ah. Uh, right, but you're talking about but bottling up. You're talking about bottling up things. So um, You're talking about bottling up. Yeah. yeah, I remember uh, uh I remember my guy remember. Oh well you're an actor, so you memorize lines and stuff. So, yeah. so but thank you. Um Yeah, I just thought it was we, it was that like if you cry and people see you cry that means you're really weak mm. um so i didn't cry in front of a lot of people if i mm. cry in front of you it's because you are really close really yeah you're really close to me like you're someone very special to, mm. to see my tears 
Um, then wow. from <laughs> please don't say anything. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's amazing. You're supposed to be talking about tears and you're laughing. <laughs> they see, they see. But then, you know, like sometimes you just have to really cry. There were nights, sometimes I have to, you know, like because I wanted to talk to somebody mm. and I was tired of talking to them about the same thing Thin. over and over again. Yeah. And so I'll just pick up my phone and record a voice note. Mm. And wow. that's my that was to yourself? my own yes oh, that wow. was my own way of I love this letting yeah. it out mm-hmm. you know so that's why in that season of my life I stopped um, judging people who put up mm. a lot of things on their status mm. because sometimes you just you mm. you feel like you're going to explode and mm. you just want to feel like you have said it yeah so you maybe type it or yeah. you say but because of the people I have in my contact list yeah. I cannot type so many of oh, those wow. things there are times when I'll just be up you know like you're just up you don't know why you're up you mm. don't you're up like 2am in the morning it's like one demonic finger woke yeah. you up and you can't sleep mm. and you know like you're praying to God to sleep but you can't sleep because mm. of the things that you're yeah, going through with. so yes you have to cry there are times where you have to cry there are times when you have to just let it out so i would just pick up my phone and record it i'm three days ago i listened to one so of the recordings good. that i did wow <laughs> i cried again but i laughed <laughs> i cried because i'm like oh my god i love juliana poor girl wow. but i laughed again because i'm like oh my god i'm not and there in a better place okay yeah so so for that you can cry i cry i watch movies because movies also make me sleep. Like, oh, it's like a sedative. I, yes. So do you sort of so, like watch boring movies? No, I don't even set out to watch. To I just watch any one I like. Maybe if I like the title of the movie. And every movie makes you sleep? Yeah, anyone. Action movies make you sleep? I don't go near action movies. Why? Uh, The blood and all of that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can't really stand it. So you go to in-action movies? There, there are no inaction movies because in every movie there's an action. <laughs> so, Please so, leave me. So, <laughs> leave me so, alone. <laughs> so, 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 which one, so, so which one do you watch? You say you don't go near action movies. I say okay. So do you go to inaction movies? And I say in every movie there are actions. There's action. So that means all the uh, movies you watch are action movies. No, I watch. I like to watch drama. I like to watch romantic. So movies. you like to watch yourself. <laughs> I don't like to watch myself because you're dramatic. All right, okay. I apologize. <laughs> let, let <laughs> so, so, okay. So you watch movies. I love the tactic because. One of the things we want to do is Mm -hmm. get into people's lives, Mm -hmm. right? The paths they allow us to get to on Mm -hmm. on the podcast. Mm -hmm. But for me, practicals are very powerful. So I'm saying things like movies, audio journaling. That's what you were doing. It's like journaling, but audio journaling. And the power of journaling is that after you grow through that phase, you go back and say, hey, see where I was. And like you said, you can laugh over something that made you cry. Yeah. And then movies. Yeah. Yeah, of course, it's a prayer as well, studying yes, and everything. Yes, and then you take a walk. Take a Great. walk a lot. I, that helps me. It's like, I cannot explain it. Just yeah. walking and just, just walking. Especially, like, maybe when you even walk in nature. Like, if you mm. go to a garden True. or you go to the beach. True. It just does something Something. To you. It's they also say running. Like running with all the anger and no, all of that. Me, I don't they like to run. Can, who, who are we? Is but running. the Bible says run the race. Uh, we we'll run the heavenly race. It's not this <laughs> earthly race. Earthly race you know, profited nothing. Nothing really. <laughs> that profited later. All right. So to give context yeah. to what you've shared, we're going to yeah. uh, go back a little bit mm-hmm. to childhood because okay. I love to see how people became who they became. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go from childhood into disappointment and betrayal yeah. and disloyalty and all of that and trauma and then when i'll go into career okay. is that fine so let's start with childhood okay. who is juliana how did you because did you come out of your mother's womb laughing like this uh-huh. no i actually gave my mother a lot of trouble wow. 
she was in labor for three days. Oh my gosh. So she had to leave the hospital. She three left days. The, yes, she had to leave the hospital. I was born in church, actually. Wow. Yeah, because according to her, she kept seeing a black card. Wow. That is threatening her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, but she had to go to church. And then, you know, they got like people, prayer warriors in church. That time she, we go, um, because I was born in CAC. Okay. So, you know, those prayer. Abadwa. Yes. La I pray, and then they prayed inside water and okay, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, must come out. Wow. And then, yeah, on the third day, Juliana came. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's how. So I was that's born. amazing. Literally it's like the story church. of resurrection. And the third day you came out. You know. Jesus came out of the tomb on the third day yeah. you came out of the womb oh my on the god third day. i love that right. yes 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 just like my father i am so, come on now. Oh, i am myself. like that i am <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, growing up um childhood was fun at the same time i had to grow up really fast but let me mm. talk about the fun part so the fun part is just you know i don't think well, I know that children now, these days, they are really having fun with whatever it is they are having fun with. But the fun was just building sandcastles, mm -hmm. doing like real play. Yes, Not a digital sand, candy crush kind like of thing. Like sand, like you mold a hot. your feet, your leg, everything mm -hmm. into that soil. Um, running around. So you're a true son of the soil, a daughter of the soil. Uh, Yes, <laughs> I'm on I am. Abi. I'm on <laughs> <I'm laughs> yes. it called? I'm on I'm on Ile. I'm on Ile is the owner of the land. The people that uh, cause trouble when you're trying soil. to buy. Soil. Okay, what's soil in Yoruba? Soil, like, don't stain my white. Don't soil my shirt. Is that the soil you're talking about? It depends. There's even soil, <laughs> soil milk. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't let us go there. Let's just leave it like All right. So but you, yeah. You we're down to earth. You played in the yes, sand. Yes, it was fun. You know, rolling tires. You did that? Yes. It was not Sush girl boys. like this. Bruh. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was fun. Oh, my so God. So did you have boys around? Because yes. usually boys that so do the tire the thing. Yes, we had like. It was a big compound, so we had people from different tribes. I see. Okay, so it's like Calabar. all them yard kind of setting. Yes, everybody knew everybody. that kind of setting, and there were a lot of boys there. So Great. we would play. Ah, I like rolling tire. We stick up. <laughs> you know, there's grades. There's grades. <laughs> if you are, if you are it. just starting your journey, yeah, you'll be using your hands to be rolling right. tire. But when but you become a stick, pro, you just stick. They now see how fast it can go. Oh my God! Yeah. The kite. Oh God! You did. You played the kite. Yeah. This is how people that really, this is how people that really had you proper life. To, uh, I was uh, called childhood. Oh my God. Not all people that were playing uh, what a brick game and uh, this thing Bantumi. Did you uh, know Bantumi? No, you know that the digital it's different for different households. generations. Maybe uh, you, maybe you, maybe your daddy had plenty money to buy game pad. For they you. had money in the future. <laughs> <laughs> they had, they had plenty. They were good. They were okay. <laughs> But the plenty money was in the future. <laughs> right. But we didn't have that in the house. But right. It was just fun playing outside. So you were not born with a silver spoon? No, I wasn't born with a How silver about a bronze spoon? spoon? Which one? Wooden spoon. Let's just choose wooden spoon. It's better and like... Let's like Igbako. You're born yes, Igbako. Yes, it's better. You know Igbako? Uh-uh. Are you... Uh -uh. The, Pastor. The time of... <laughs> the time that has hooked Igbako. Ah! Translating <laughs> it like that, literally, that back off for taking a mala, a mala. Mm -hmm. eba, yeah. any swallow. You La want. Yes, that's it. That's yeah, not. Say it's rice, but it's okay. They they use it to eat rice. Yeah, that will surprise you actually. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, but yeah, it was just fun. Just yeah, so fun. were your parents strict or were they so like chilled? Uh, both parents, my parents were really strict, disciplinarian, and my, yes. Kind of. And my mom, oh gosh, I can't believe I don't have cane marks on my body because my wow. mom is that kind of person that will beat you in advance, you mm. know, for 
what the day I can never forget the beating that my mother beat me. <laughs> and listen, guys, I'm very innocent. I don't. I'm not a troublesome <laughs> child by nature. We would like to believe so. <laughs> but <laughs> my mom, uh, my mom is a no nonsense man. The worst part of it is if your neighbors now beg for mm. you. Yeah. Just beg She'll your be neighbors like... not to beg. <laughs> Because if they beg us, she'll start again. Oh my when god, when nobody sleeping, is able to come. Why because do some parents do her, that? I don't know why. <laughs> That's so wicked. Mommy and Joe. Oh gosh. What's wickedness? <laughs> <laughs> but my mom, no, I was scared of my mom. She. Oh, no, 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 no. I was, I was really troublesome also. Let me be honest. Mm. So, one of the days I will not forget, <laughs> um, I was watching a movie with my friend. And in the movie, the person's father died. Okay. In the movie. So I was not arguing with my friend that, ah, this girl is not even crying like somebody that the father died. That if it's me that my father died, my you mother just said, Baba, talon kumbenge. Are you serious? That means whose father is dying there. <laughs> so, she overheard you, uh. <laughs> So she said, Emma Shere on Ikuo. Emma Shere. That means stop, stop acting a play that has the scripting of death in it. Yes. <laughs> wow. So I, I now told my friend that, let me, I, I started to whisper and I said, let me show you what I will do if my father dies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. My yeah. mom came into the room. Oh my gosh. She removed her slippers. She wow. got out the tony stick. She said, Monico, my sherry, Nico, because any tomaco or a brucoton salenu. Ah, God. When she beat me, she beat my friend. Wow, your friend are just innocently inside the house. I said, She said, What of you? This is hey, what I Good measure, sh- good measure, press down, shake, get right now. Yes! So the beating was taken away. Yes. Like, LJ, I tell you, that's some. Yes. <laughs> oh, my mom. Ah, she. No, no, no. But no, how no. did that shape you? How did. Do you think that helped you? Because one of the things I've noticed about your. The part of your story that I know mm-hmm. is that you grew up early you grew up fast yeah. so we're still going to talk about jennifer your involvement in that <laughs> but you grew yeah. up fast yeah right and you got on television at what age um first time on television was 17 wow so that's a yes. while 17 and most people at 17 they still don't have traction or right. a sense of direction it wasn't even like i had a sense of direction, direction as it were it okay just... but how did parenting we'll talk to talk about how did parenting shape you uh, Do you it think it helped you or yes, it hurt it, you? it helped me a lot. Okay, so when I was younger, I thought my mom was really wicked because all my life, my dad had <laughs> only beat me once. Once. Oh. And that once. Ah. So are you daddy's girl? Yes! Oh, I see. Okay, no, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't even know what she would think of me. <laughs> I'm daddy it? and mommy's girl. <laughs> Please, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, yeah, I've heard your daughter. <laughs> well, my dad, because my dad doesn't beat me at all. Oh, gosh, I just love him for that. But my mom, she'll beat you in advance and she would declare <laughs> for the, fast. For the mistakes I'm going to make, yes. the errors. She <laughs> would just wake up one day and say, ah, she had a dream. All of us are fasting. You know, that, you know like when you, you want to know fast, you, fast will fa- you prepare, prepare your mind. Right. No, that this is not my wake up. She will wake up, she'll say, Modela, la, Colleen. And it's not that I wear one See, day. I wear seven days. Your remote mothers are the best because the way you said it, that's the way your mother is going to say it. Like, eh, hey, bummy, no. Like, I'm like, I'm not inside your dream. Yes. She will say seven days. And I don't know, for whatever reason, my mom would always put me on a fast. Wow. And I didn't like her for it at the time. At I the time. Like, Why do you hate me so much? Why can't I eat food? My mom would leave my siblings. She would pray over them because my mom wow. my mom is ugh, till date. If I go to my mom's house, no, by 4 o'clock, my mom is already awake. She'll be doing 4 a.m., wow. Wow. You can't hear what she's saying. But, wow, like, but God sleep, can hear, yeah. Just sleep for once. Wow. For once, yes. Yeah. So my mom, she would literally pray over my 
eldest um elder sisters and my younger brother mm. what she would wake me and say yeah you see cook bad right my brain i'm like what did i do to wrong off can you just let me sleep wow. <laughs> so she would always say that um, you are a child of confidence it's, it's not sweet if you don't say these things in yoruba right. honestly but so she would make me pray a lot and she would so she all these things really helped me because mm. my mom prays mm. so she fast a lot after mm. she did her surgery her fibroid surgery mm. the doctor said she should stop fasting wow. <laughs> one month after she my mom went said, back. Ah, <laughs> I say, ah, <laughs> oh God, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so she would pray for me that she <laughs> so she don't even bother telling her. She will tell you why your prayer is not being not, You shouldn't tell because, her how to pray to her God. Because, because you even you, you are a result <laughs> of her prayers. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, my, so have my, you carried my name those? Is, sorry, like, Adoragbe means one of wow. those names. Yes. So, that means that prayer has supported me. Build me out of Held me, 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 supported me, carried me. Yeah. It can be anything, actually. Yeah. So do you, do you see that in your life? Absolutely. An, and Absolutely. do you also continue those disciplines? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. Oh, yes. It really helped me. It helped me to fast a lot. I like, uh, even though recently, this year <laughs> I've been very lazy, but I just pray that my, my mother God. will not watch it before she will now put me on the fast. See, and the way you've, but, you've spoken about your mother in this episode, I'm sure somebody will send it to her. So <laughs> just rest assured. Let's talk about that. I said earlier that you got on television by 17. Yes. How did you get into that? Because you're like, you, you wasn't like you even had a sense of direction as it were. Mm-hmm. So was it accidental? There are a lot of people that want to act now. Mm-hmm. And acting has changed, you know, from yeah. generation to generation. Before you had to go for the casting call, you know, stay there. You have 300 people that will pick that people and say yeah. come back next week yeah. and all but now it's like if you're just popular online <laughs> and you yes. have a bit of spark yes how was it for you it was that generation of 300 people and they picked three wow all right so for me i didn't think i was even going to act i thought i was going to be a newscaster oh. i wanted to be a newscaster because my my dad loves watching the news so i wanted to be that girl my dad would be watching on tv wow you're still a newscaster the good newscaster ah it has, I like it that. It has the good news. I like that. Yes. <laughs> the good news. So um, that day was just my friend. She, she gave me this flyer. She So when we left secondary school, we started working. Okay. Um, saving to go to school and all of that. Yeah. So um, the, we worked in a complex. Uh-huh. So one of my friends worked in the dry cleaning um, firm there. So somebody brought the flyer, like acting flyer. So she wow. said, Ah, Julie, you play, you're supposed to go this day. I said, Eh, acting. <laughs> Wait till they have because in my so you little, never acted in church. No, you, you I did, I okay, did, well, but it wasn't stage. I thought I was gonna be a singer because I sang I in uh, reading camp, I was wow. singing Zona, oh, Regina, really? all of that. Yeah, because we moved from oh, CSC to reading. Oh, so wow. I was really thinking that I was going to be Jonathan Obasi and Victoria <laughs> Renzi now. I'll be saying, Oh, Lord, work, work, work. But you see, see right? what the Lord has done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So she, she told me about the audition. I said, ah, I'm not going for the audition. And I honestly wasn't going to go for the audition. Yeah. But she went ahead to register me for the audition. When she registered, she registered me for the audition. Hmm. I yes. wasn't going to go anyway. So I was going to church for choir rehearsals mm. that day. We got I got to church and then the choir director said um, that we would be it would be two hours late or something. And the place where they were auditioning was just the stone throw from, from church. church. So I just said, okay, let, let me, me go and check in. what they are doing there. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know that I was not supposed to, well, I was supposed to be there. But when I got there, I didn't, I'd never attended 
any audition so i don't know the what protocols yes. processes for me i was just there tying my scarf my black skirt and my faded gray top so you still remember what you wore mask. absolutely <laughs> i remember like i remember the gray top faded wow. listen faded gray top and my black skirt and my scarf and wow. my don't love slippers so as soon as i entered and i saw the five five girls i said ah they can never <laughs> pick me let me just be going back oh my <laughs> goodness. Was like no you must audition and that one shout out to hasha Jennifer. so you felt the pressure the I pressure felt was worse. From the minute I opened the door and I saw the slain queen, <laughs> you were slain. Ah, this is not. Yes, I okay. was really slain. So I went. To, I just stayed in the bathroom all through until it was my turn to audition. Wow. Because the pressure was too much. I did. Oh, wow. I was just feeling like I don't belong there, and so I auditioned. I don't even know what I did. I think I don't know. Maybe it was <laughs> just God because I can't remember. I, in my opinion, I did rubbish because I was just like, oh God, what am I doing, doing. Here? and stuff. And and then they called me back. That was my first acting job. Okay. Um, what what role was it? It was it was a series as well, but it didn't stay too long on okay. TV. It was um, the title is me myself and my diary. I see. It's like yeah, it was a series. Um, then after then, I went for several other auditions, auditions mm -hmm. and I was not. They would say we'll call you back, we'll call you back. <laughs> they never did. Um, so Jennifer's diary happened when it was my friend again that the days of Blackberry mm. he sent me a BC shout out to the best he sent me a BC oh, the same the best the yeah, cinematographer the yes my wow. friend Baba Naina, <laughs> my guy. Shout out. <laughs> so he sent me a BC and he was like, Juliana, I think you should go for this. One. I said. So he ah. was one that signed you up for that first one. No, it was, was okay, another was my friend person. Jennifer. Shout out to you. Wow. Um, she he said he said I I have to go for the audition. I said first of all all this so this is how I, I talk to my friends. Yeah, I'm like I don't like going for these auditions again because number one I waste my body for tiffin. Number two I don't have fine clothes. <laughs> and that time they nicknamed me donuts. Like all my friends is call me donuts. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, Why? Because I I have a very long hair, so I pack my hair okay, up and I just do like at the yes. top. So they, so that's my hairstyle. So this is your natural hair. No, this is not. Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> this is not my natural hair <laughs> but you know that person that would have just been a lovely heritage uh, like <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the heritage uh, but, but I don't but anyway <laughs> you have it would have been a lovely hair craft <laughs> so now you have the craft and some hair so hair craft okay that's why you're fly <laughs> hair craft okay, please <laughs> Are you are you really blushing? <laughs> <laughs> now now if you're blushing, that's good because you save money on makeup because you don't need to buy too much buy blush. blush. <laughs> anyway, I told him that I don't want to go because I don't have anything to wear, and mm. I, I I I said they are not going to pick me. So my mom. So was you didn't like, have something to wear to wear. To the audition. <laughs> 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 So one of my friends, she said, ah, okay. So she works in the place where they make clothes. Oh, and they sell wow. clothes. So her boss was throwing away some clothes. Wow. So she favorite. said, ah, I will bring clothes for you. You must go for this audition. And then my mom too was like, ah, oh, ni loke. Oh, good all of it, you know. <laughs> Sound I've been praying. Oh, great, but don't judge And then the day I was getting my mom said I should take one spoon of anointing oil. Really? My mom is that more down. To lick it, to lick I'm it. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you drink anointing oil, you pour it inside your basic water, you put it on your forehead, you put it on your legs. Yeah, you that's my mother. Be oily. Yes. The oil of ease. That's, that's she it. has different bottles for different. <laughs> Are you for real? She has one for Psalm 20 Kitty Club. Oh my the gosh. one for breakthrough. The one for delivery. Oh if you have a bad dream, this is the one. If you eat in your dream, <laughs> if you get eat in your dream. So, what, so <laughs> if you eat in your dream, the oil is to make the food taste sweeter no, or the to convert oil it is to, to fry it. Every to fry the devil is putting inside Come on your now. system. <laughs> I, I see. Shout out to mommy. <laughs> she gave me oh gosh. No, no, no. I, no. So she said you must go for I, the audition. No, see, there's a lot of anointing inside of me. <laughs> Thanks to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went for the audition when I got there. Ah, I went really early because the audition was supposed to start by nine. Mm. I remember I got there like past seven. Hmm. Thinking I was really early. Early. <laughs> I was 549. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, maybe all those 
those people they came to sleep there overnight. <laughs> I was so pissed. We got there off. seven. Yes. And you're fine around for Sanaya's. Yes. As a doctor. Those people got there like five or something. <laughs> Maybe now because <laughs> Yes. There were a lot of people there. And as usual, because I can't stand people, I'll just stay in the bathroom and just be there. I'll just ask seven people ahead of me, like, please tell me when, you know, my it's time. It's about time, is. yeah. But as at 8 p.m., I had not auditioned. So I was telling my mom that I'm coming. You know, she said, oh, good old Wale. Told me she auditioned your man Wale. Wow. <laughs> That's don't come back home. Don't come you, back home. So I waited for the audition. I, I did the first audition. I was starstruck. I saw, I said, ah. This is the woman I watch on TV. I'm looking at her. <laughs> so it was the Jennifer one. Yeah, it was wow. the Jennifer audition. I auditioned. I I did three auditions, if I remember well, three or four auditions. Um, the final audition, however, my mom. So at this point, I was like, they are not going to pick me because you know they weren't they weren't even going to cast me for Toyo C. They wanted to cast me for um kiki kiki's character and kiki is a big girl she's rich she can drive mm. i <laughs> i cannot <laughs> at the, drive at the time. i cannot swim <laughs> you know all those things they were asking me so uh, i was telling my mom ah oh, mommy won't need mommy she said so bad so that means there was something very good about you for them to have said we yes. can't afford to lose her well, let's have us well well yeah. well i didn't even i didn't think of it like that anyway but eventually they picked me for to play toyo c awesome. and when 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 um we started filming i didn't even think that toyo c was going to be a big character or anything mm. or she's sub lead you know we first shot she the pilot. became viral <laughs> yeah she became really viral and then you know all those lives that i was living before i could not live my life yeah before. we'll talk about <laughs> that right, <laughs> because it's that celeb you're not entering <laughs> Boss and I like Toya, Toya, Toya. Ah, we'll talk about that right <laughs> after this break. Thank you for sharing your story with us. It's beautiful hearing this and just feeling the joy. Thank you for following. We have a lot, a number of lovely offers for you. So stay tuned and watch this videos and take advantage of these offers. Are you tired of putting your passion on hold because you don't think it will make you rich? It's time for you to change the mindset as that not even the life you've always dreamed of. Hi, I'm Damien Alon and I'm here to help you unleash your full potential with the Rich Genius Program. As someone who has found his gifts and turned them into profitable ventures, I know firsthand the power or following your passion. The Rich Genius Program is designed to help you discover your gifts, find your purpose, and make a lot of money from them. With our guidance, you will learn how to turn your passion into a thriving business that will provide you with financial freedom. So why wait? Don't put your passion on hold any longer. Start your journey towards success with the Rich Genius Program today. Join me and become a part of a community of progressive people who are deploying their gifts profitably. Click the Learn More button now to get started on your path to success. All right, welcome back. Still some amazing announcements. Two years ago, we started doing something amazing and we called it White Night. Now, what is White Night? It's the night of wisdom, of hope, of inspiration, of transformation and entertainment as in w-h-i-t-e so it's a night of spoken word of comedy of food finger foods presentations drama and all of that we're having it again this year it's going to be on sunday 3rd of december 2023 so if you're watching this in 2025 or 2027 or 2028 we're going to be hosting it that year as well <laughs> so you can buy your tickets right now it's really a beautiful time where you can just connect with friends and family and loved ones and even strangers and we're going to have some of our guests that we've hosted on the podcast so far they're going to feature and do some skits and some presentations you don't want to miss it. it's going to be really amazing so buy your tickets now <laughs> now please <laughs> All right, welcome back. Have you bought your tickets? You need to buy your tickets right away. Now, you don't want to miss this powerful conversation because we're about to go very deep. So you've had a lot of light banter and some historical context to who <laughs> this amazing Juliana is. Now, it's like speaking about Jennifer and the Toyo sensation because it became a sensation. Yeah. The whole Toyo baby became a sensation. People just sort of like liked you. So I think maybe apart from Jennifer and then um, what was the character Beverly... Uh, was playing beverly 
Amara. 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 So I think her char- character too was pretty strong. Yeah. Um, then uh, Lolo. Lolo's character was strong. Yeah. yeah. And then your character, I don't know whether it was because fresh face. Of course, you're very good in terms of your acting, so Thank your skills, you. right? Your energy. But what do you think happened there? Because you just became. Honestly, I think I do you know like. It was like a dream to me. Because when people started watching Jennifer, I had not seen an episode of it. Really? We were shooting like back to back. Back to back, back, yeah. So I was just in the bus. You know, innocently (laughs) in the bus. Going to my house. And somebody just said, Ah, Toya, baby! (laughs) I'm like... (laughs) See my life outside. I said, Eh? (laughs) Just... (laughs) She just put on her phone and took a selfie with me in the bus. I say, Jesus. I didn't know that it was just the beginning of all those things. Yeah. <laughs> I go to the outside. Literally everyone in my neighborhood had seen it. Yeah. And I hadn't seen any episode of it. So I took my time to watch it. I didn't know that it was that big. Mm. It's not like I'm looking down on the project. But you know how yeah. you just don't know how big what you're working on would become. Yes. And... I couldn't walk on my street anymore. They're pointing wow. at me. Wow. They say I cannot buy my roasted corn, <laughs> <laughs> my roasted plantain, and roasted yam. She's getting into character you know, now. <laughs> all those things that really made me happy <laughs> and joyful. They didn't let your breathe. No. <laughs> or they wanted me to pay extra. Right, they just assume that because yeah, you're now on television, so you're money. larger than Literally, life. Literally, they will tell me to pay. Even the doctor say, yeah, yeah, ah, mama, ah, you want to see Jennifer, you want to see Fuka, they say, ah, so go go out in the bus, ah, so I say, eh. If then I'm a teenager, because you're a teenager at the time, right? You're a teenager. Like, people just assume. See this life. No, it was it was a lot to deal with. It was so much. It was not fun. Mm. it was not fun because i'm a very easy i was when i came in i was telling at Bukola how <laughs> my manager said that i'm too playful wow. <laughs> i should try and be serious sometimes. <laughs> 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 and <I'm> like <laughs> what can i do in my life i don't want to be like mrs Bukola, where she can want to be prima proper <laughs> Maybe I need to go and meet her. She lay out on me. Right. I know she has some mentorship <laughs> things for women every now and again. So but look I just, out for them. I'm just, this is me. Like, I, this is just who I am. And so because of the whole thing just happened, I enjoyed being, fetching, going to fetch it? your water yes, from oh, the, was oh it? my head. Carries. Oh, really? Yes. I enjoyed paying five naira to fetch water. Wow. Ask so somebody you, you, to put it on my you head. You said carry water on your head. Yes. Is that why your acting is so refreshing? (laughs) Right. (laughs) See, see. (laughs) You're going to pay me for all this laughter you're laughing now because... (laughs) I just, I enjoy that life. Being normal, having a regular... Yes, I love it. I love, I don't know how to explain it. I just, there's nothing as... I think that people who can just walk freely on their streets, mm. they don't know what the God freedom. has done. <laughs> what God for has done for them. them. Honestly, because you know, everybody likes you you people like the idea of fame. Fame, yeah. Famous. Talk about that. Talk about that. Fame. Fame is fame can kill you. Wow. It can How kill do you mean? You. Like do you mean like yeah. Another name for death is fame, or I don't mean that another name for death is fame, but I and think you it definitely can... not mean project fame. <laughs> okay. right. no. I don't mean project, project <laughs> fame. What a feeling. No, I don't mean that. You know, like because you you are not, and that's one thing again about you know. It's not like you're not prepared for what is to come. Mm-hmm. But you don't know how glorious. You don't know the mm. weight of it. Mm. So nothing really prepares you for, yeah. for it, right? It's like, you know, you're, you're just thinking. Ah, I'm, because, again, acting wasn't even anything I thought that I would do. Although do. I'd gotten a prophecy that God was going to open a door for me in the entertainment and all wow. of that. When you were a lot younger. Yeah, those times where we did go Bible studies and all that. Yeah. Um, 
but i didn't think that it was going to be like that i didn't think it was going to be fast i didn't think it was going to be i didn't think that people would see me i want to take pictures why as if, sometimes, <laughs> i can i can imagine me, really I'll because sit down, like when the is taking the picture with me, me i'll just sit down and say ah, but what was so special about it why are they taking you are happy ah! i'm like ah. <laughs> What is happening to me? Do you understand? So it just went from zero to hundred. Like wow. everybody wants to hear you talk. People will mm. say laugh. Ah, the way you used to laugh was <laughs> laugh for us. I'm like, hey, well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to sort of like find the energy somewhere. Yes. Otherwise, people will think you're a snob. Ah, people will still see that you're a snob. No matter how much you laugh with everybody, smile. They say she didn't even me. laugh well yeah, enough. Yeah, we say that you are proud. People mm. who don't know the meaning of pride, they will tell you that you are proud. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know proud. They don't know the meaning of pride, they will tell you that you are proud. So it was a lot. It was a lot to deal with. Coming from that regular girl on the mm. street, literally, I used to help shoemaker polish his shoe wow. so that he would allow me to polish my shoe for free. Wow. Coming from that to... Everybody wow. is just like, ah, hey, I say God. <laughs> so how did you, nav- how did you navigate it that? It was hard mm. at first. And again, because like I said, I live a lot in my head. Mm. So at first I had not entered into the reality of what was happening to mm. me. You know, sometimes most creatives, we don't see ourselves. Other yeah. people see us more yeah. than we see ourselves. Mm. You'll be shocked that the biggest celebrity or the biggest actor or musician that you everybody wants to be with still see themselves as that guy on the street. Right, streets. come on now. Because you've not been able to embrace yes. who God has now made you yes. to be. Yes. And I struggled with it for a long time and mm. I took a break from acting. Mm. I was just like... No, this is not the life I want. I mm. don't want you to know me. Mm. As I, don't, I know like some people really like being This famous. is deep. All you're sharing is deep. <laughs> Go in, yeah. I think that deep. people, some people just like being really famous, but mm-hmm. I didn't want to be famous. I just wanted to, you know, like there was a point in my life where I thought that the highest money anyone can ever have is a million naira. Mm. I didn't know that there was. After one million, there's <laughs> two million. Yeah. I remember like one day it was really raining. Oh my God, I'm starting to get teary. Mm. And it was raining heavily because sometimes there were times where we didn't even have money to pay to fetch water, mm. right? But I was friends with the Baba. Like I was telling you before we started, like yeah. I don't know why I have, I'm friends with a lot of people. older people. Yeah. So sometimes I would help the Baba <laughs> clean, like wash the, the marble on, you know, the marble on the... The water thing. Yes, help him wash it. So wow. he let me fetch water for free and all that so that day was really raining and we're fetching water in the rain and i remember just looking up in the and i in the rain and i was like god i just want to have so much money that if you can just give me one million naira i'm the richest girl in the world (laughs) (laughs) you know i was really praying like god i want to have one million naira one million naira i want to change my mother's life i want to change my father (laughs) you know i was just really praying i knelt down it was really I was really like, I don't know what happened Fervent. to me that day, yeah. that day praying that prayer. And, you know, so going from that girl to now, you know, that so one million naira is just. <laughs> if you are not careful. <laughs> you, just, you spend one million naira. I was, I was like telling some of people months. some days ago, I said, in Nigeria now, for you to really survive, you must be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, it's a whole so lot. So it was, it was difficult for me. And um, so there's something, and I see why sometimes God would hide us. Mm. Talk yeah. about that. This is so powerful. I see why God it, would. It's so powerful because, please don't forget that, you know, fame is one of the idols of this generation. Mm-hmm. People idolize fame. They yeah. want to be famous. So yeah. whether it's TikTok famous, YouTube famous, mm-hmm. Instagram famous, mm-hmm. famous, famous, A-list. Yeah. But, People don't really talk about the side, mm-hmm. you know, and the advantage of obscurity. Mm-hmm. That's like the benefits you have from mm-hmm. um, um, the benefits you derive from not being that well known. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The benefits derived from God hiding you, or holding you back. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about that. So. Um, you are saying that you now know why God. I hides know us why God hides us sometimes. You know because. 
sometimes you actually think that you're ready for mm-hmm. God to answer your prayers, yeah. but you're not ready. True. Like literally, the first time I got a hundred thousand naira, mm. I almost peed in my pants. <laughs> like, I was like, ah, hundred thousand. It's so graphic. <laughs> I somersaulted. Oh, wow. I almost took off my clothes. Like, oh, wow. ah, I, I, I had made it in life. life. Like, what? For the next one week, you know, like, you do things. You didn't touch it, right? You didn't, you didn't touch like, the money. What? You check it again to say that it's It was in there. the account. I say, <laughs> I will say, God, I say, God, for see. that money, I thank you. <laughs> Six months oh. after, God, for that, my 100,000. <laughs> 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 no, so it was, you know, like, uh, you are not sometimes you are not you are not ready you have not you think that you have seen it and you think that you can really behold it and you mm. think that you can really walk in it mm. but sometimes you need that cave experience like mm. just go and stay with the sheep like this yeah. just go there go and let them put you in the pit you leave it like mm. right because you are not ready for that glory yeah so i wouldn't say that um God God works in different ways. I wouldn't say that Jennifer's diary didn't happen at the right time. I think it had to happen. I don't know why people fell in love with the character. Um, I know that the production and Funke, everybody, they did a fantastic Shout job. Shout out. You know. Yes. To my Olga. Funke <laughs> and the crew, it's, it's my mama. <laughs> it's an amazing yes. concept. Yes. I, I, I think they did that. But there is also something about when god singles you out Mm. because you know that's that was also part of things that started to make me feel like i'm not worthy Mm. of these things because i i thought that i was going to be somebody's house help Mm. i was i wanted to start cleaning for people to Mm. make money when i save enough money i'll go to school and all of that that was like at some point you know when they'll say picture yourself in the future i didn't mm. ever picture this. Wow. this was never in the picture beyond, I beyond your dreams yes so um so when it started to happen i didn't know how to take it because it was too much for my brain mm. even though i've been praying to god like god i want to be rich i want to take care of my parents give me one but i had not <laughs> yes give me one millionaire. I, I i i had never seen it before so i don't know so it was too much for me i started feeling unworthy like there are so many people who have been acting before me. Mm. No, and all of a sudden... Yes, there are so many people who have been acting before mm. me. There, there are so many people on that project with mm. me. Even after mm. um, the character um, traveled and mm. the Toyosi was not on Jennifer's Diary series, mm. people did not stop talking wow. about it. I felt really unworthy. Mm. I felt very unworthy. So I started to think about amazing actors that I look up to and literally sometimes we'll be in the same room and there are more people coming to want to take you. pictures with me sometimes i hmm. leave to the bathroom and i cry i can't believe it please put your hand together for bdams as he comes to share with us how we all start can we celebrate the amazing the author the singer the mentor but we know say god now papa and we have the right genes in us you are very rude Wait, wait. The question I just have to see somebody that knows something about gay. That's then they will not be put. Take your bitch and go. It's not a. Uh, don't underline now. Nah. Now nah, you go talk. Um. I'll mark your script. Some people still didn't get it. My name is Ife. My name is Oremokoli. Good evening, B Dams. Good evening, Pastor Told You. I've laughed. I hope I've not thrown my voice away. Because I promise you that everything you touch is fire. Every beat you're on is a banger. Because every word I speak is Rema. Another. So I would just go into the bathroom and cry. Because it didn't make sense to me. These people are people that... I watch on TV that I'm like I if I and also I don't know how people do that thing like I can literally be sitting next to the person that I adore and I cannot say I want to take a photo with the person because it starts but people are so courageous like they'll just be taking so a lot of times I'm like I actually want to take a picture with this person how are you people 
leaving this person to come to, to me. Come to so me. I can imagine all the psychological. <laughs> so I would. It wasn't making sense right. to me. It wasn't making sense to me at all. How everybody wants you to come and talk. I'm like, what am I even saying? <laughs> yeah, they want to do it. They want to put you uh, on cover for. Ah, hey, I say, hey, me on my county. <laughs> I used to just but that's why, like, a lot of times when I'm worshiping, I cry a lot because mm. I'm just like. This mm. is you brought me from like yeah. the gutter, like from yeah. Koto, yeah. literally. Yeah. Like how well, not do Koto, you? No. <laughs> <laughs> how did how did you do that? So it was it was a lot for me, and I remember just going through that phase of I was struggling between living that life and just being Juliana. So there was mm. there was a struggle in my head, um, and also in my lifestyle. I want to drink Gary and Granot and I want to go and buy. I don't want to buy one paint bucket of <laughs> because I don't have money. Home. I want to buy one the tin milk. Sachet. Yes, the one they used to sell for 29. <laughs> but the mama is looking at us like, ah, tell your baby, you like your da con. I don't have money for <laughs> Ike or da con. That's Give a me tin milk, <laughs> only 20 naira. <laughs> right? And so it was just, it was a lot. And then. I wanted to still walk on the streets and yeah. not have anybody wave at me or smile at me because I don't always want to smile back yeah. at you. Like, yeah. I don't even know you. Like, why do you think I must be smiling at so, you and smiling with you? So it was, it was, it was a lot to take in for me. And then I withdrew. I mm. withdrew and then I went back to God. And this is one thing that I really appreciate my... I appreciate my parents for I thank them so much for bringing us up in the way of God. I mm. thank them for you know introducing us to God. I mean, it's one thing for a parent to raise a child in the way of God. It's another mm. thing for the child to choose to yeah. walk. My dad used to say yes, that a lot. It's another thing for the child to choose to walk in the way of God, but I thank them for that. And so I will because I I have a strong relationship with God even from before acting or anything yeah. happened so i just went back i'm like god what's what's happening with me i mm. don't i don't understand it and then people were following me on <laughs> hundred thousand people a day so i say wow. ah, what's why do you know uh, like you're just thinking like why are they following it's overwhelming me? yes it was it's really overwhelming, overwhelming. Yeah. and then I, I just started to pray like god please i don't want to be popular I wow. don't want to be popular like this. I don't like all these popular things. <laughs> I don't, and then I was popular and I was broke. <laughs> so it's a very bad combo. Yes, it's a very bad combo because yeah. everybody will be billing you. You yes. go to the market. Maybe my mom is like, Lori, we do 50 naira. Yeah, you we do. We tell you that. Eh, ah, ah. For hey, you, for you. Hundreds. <laughs> it's all dress. Ah, all right. <laughs> so let, let me, let's let the, let's me let's translate it to this. For the non-Yoruba pay, people. Pay double. <laughs> <laughs> because you're popular they see you on television so they assume that you just have all of them yeah. let me let me say this can you give us a word of advice to people that want to be popular people that are dying to be popular people that are uh, you know there are all sorts of things happening these days yeah. i'm not trying to shake any tables but yeah. the people who are modifying editing their bodies now because they want to be popular augmenting the front and the back <laughs> Because they want to be popular, you know, so the one end up being Manchester and Arsenal, Arsenal and Manchester United, and I don't know whether they want to, you know, play football or foot the balls, but, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, what of advice? As in, especially like younger people, it's happening. People in their thirties as well, but a lot of teenagers. Because people are on TikTok, they live on TikTok. They yeah. live for TikTok and yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Please, a word of advice to the young, younger ones. You need to maybe you, the older ones. You as need well. to be sure that you are ready for fame. Because, like I said in the beginning, fame can kill you. For me, before I accepted what God and I still struggle sometimes. Honestly, sometimes I even now I still struggle. So I feel like before I accepted it, mm. I God had to reintroduce me to me. Come on, I right? love that. Like Juliana, I, I know that you were born in County and you mm. lived in Koto. 
if mm. it's your rats mm. and your mm. <laughs> geckos as friends and cockroaches mm. but hey this is who you are mm. right and so i really struggled i i remember i read a lot i read the story of david over and over again wow. i read the story of joseph, joseph. over and over mm. again and i was just declaring that this is who i am in yeah. christ this is hopes to be able to accept it so fame is it's a lot of things and the fact that so many people will now all of a sudden have an opinion yeah. about you you know somebody will just somebody literally <laughs> i get a lot of weird dms somebody just sent me a dm one day and said that you are so fast you will never get married like this so you need to wow <laughs> are you for real Honestly, they leave your comments and send you dms wow sometimes one day i was at the airport i think i was going to enugu and the lady, I don't know if, they, because, you know, sometimes people think I'm from Benin. They don't know I'm Yoruba. Uh, so they are just taking pictures with me. The other one, I say, ah, kilo wa shomo eto she son rabai, uma sheo. And you know, for you to use the word uma sheo as a Yoruba, that means it's very it's terrible. It's a terrible state. It's like the height of, wow. I'm like, ah, goes on fat. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, it's you so many things. People things. would shame you. People would mm. talk about you. People would feel like they have an opinion. And one thing about the f- the the f- the, um, the crowd, the crowd would always leave. They're mm. not there. Mm. They're not always there. That person that you think is your fan is that is calling you. Say fame, that. Is Say calling that. Another, is calling a thousand other person. Yeah. A thousand other people rather their fave and it's not bad because Come even on. as a person you you <laughs> like more than one person you like more yeah. than one preacher you yeah. so it's not bad i think one of the things that god said to me god said to me one time i remember when i went through the season of quietness because i didn't know if i still wanted to act if it mm. was what i really wanted mm. and you know it was just that quiet season and god was saying to me one time that you know the pressure even gets so much you know it's easier to get to the top than to stay on top right it's easier to get to the top than to stay on top you don't want to know the pressure that people go through and you know you go for an audition and they tell you no you start feeling like am i not good enough you start backing with a lot of thoughts yes yeah and it's really not you it's just they don't want you to play (laughs) that role yeah but you deal with a lot of these things and you start it's a lot of things honestly Mm. i remember that day and god said to me god said juliana i'm your fan i don't need you to perform Mm. I wept. I you know he's your fan because he's the fan that keeps you flaming hot. Oh, he keeps your so fire, good. your passion, your that's so good. ginger, your energy, your that's drive. That's so good. That's so good. I wept that day. I wept because you know, like God does have the right words every time. Yeah, it will speak to you in the yes. language that you yes. can understand. So, so fame is. Uh, I don't even know. Like I, I'm not. I don't want. I want my everybody around me to be to do to, to do well, but I don't yeah. know if I wish fame on them because wow. fame is not equal to success. Come on now. So you can be famous. You preacher now. You can be famous and everybody knows you and mm. you're not successful. Also, yeah. suc- being successful is different things. Mm. So you have to be sure that you're really mentally ready. Right. You are emotionally ready yeah. because there'll be so many people that will talk. Honestly, I know those people that always say uh, celebrities, every time they see one bad comment on their post, that's when they know to respond. Sometimes you get a thousand good comments mm. and just that one comment is we'll just stinging. Stick. Like literally one bad comment on my post kept yeah. me up for three nights. Wow. I'm thinking that about what Moshe Shani. Wow. How did I offend you? I don't know you before. I don't. Wow. And you know, people that are quick to say, oh, don't respond. Auntie, you have 20 followers. <laughs> All people following you, they are your aunt, they are your uncles, they yeah. are your family member. Whether your auntie is good or is not good, they will yeah. show you love. Yeah. You don't know what it means to have yeah that's much followers yeah. and have people say things to you that will keep you up at night mm. and there are days when you're able to get through it right. like you be like oh i don't care but just oh, i don't di- care <laughs> there are other days when those words just wake you up and it's playing in your head over and over again and you have to consciously release yourself from yeah. whatever it is that you've seen so it's so many things honestly i don't think that fame is what is important mm. Fame is not what is important. I think just, you know, finding yourself in God and doing yeah. what God would have you do is what's most important. Sometimes fame can come with it. 
um but when when fame comes with it and you know that it is god holding your hand it's easier for you not to run crazy like i don't know we have different temperaments Sha. there are some people that that's all their life desire mm. they just want to be famous <laughs> but that's not so they want to be famous me, even if their name is not amos that's not the case for me so you yeah. need you need an anchor you need right. somebody who would hold you strong yeah be there like yeah and you know the worst part of everything is that huh this thing called fail, fame everybody you think that likes you <laughs> eh it's not because they really like you. It's right. Not because you are the talk of the, of town. the town. So some people like things that are trending yes. and people that are trending. Some people support not, anything that is yes. major. And then some people love the the need you are meeting in their lives. Yes. So people have needs, emotional needs, mental yes. needs, yes. social needs, entertainment needs. Yes. And if you're the perfect character yes. that fits into the profile of their yes. desires, yeah. then they hail you. Yeah. But the moment you shift, then they fail you. Yeah. So some people who hail you will fail you. Mm. Right. Right. Yes. So once you're in the light, you can't assume that everybody is seeing you right. Mm. The fact that you're in the light does not mean they're seeing you right. Yeah. Right. And the fact that your career is taking flight does not mean they will not fail you after the light. F- mm. Light. Right. So follow what I'll say is follow your creator, his calling, and yeah. not the crowd. Yeah. And the compliments. Yes. Let the crowd and the compliments follow you. Yes. As you follow God. Yes. Right. I think that's so important. Yes. Now, let's talk about you had sort of a, an issue with Funky Akindele. <laughs> there was sort of a, an issue. And I, I think that's connected to another issue that I want us to talk about. <laughs> so I know there are heavy issues. <laughs> and you might not be able to go into all of the dynamism <laughs> and the details yeah. of all of them, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you already put out a co- number of things in public, mm-hmm. anyway. So parts of your story in mm-hmm. those areas are public mm-hmm. and i'm happy to see you healing through all of that mm-hmm. and now you're actually even building that fence with Mkeke Dele and you wrote one very elaborate and expressive message of appreciation which i think was so emotional and so honorable like mm-hmm. even me that i'm not in the story self <laughs> i'm like i cannot be crying on top of anybody <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are back now yes right so what happened with that and ah. how did it come around this is like <laughs> literally this is the first time this, this, <laughs> yes this is, this is the first time i'm going to be talking about it but literally something that came to my head is the, the enemy thought he had me but jesus said you are mine Oh, okay. I think you're know supposed to know the song. Uh, Pastor. But the way they sing, I'm not sure I'm saying that. Ah, song. okay. It's okay like that. That's Juliana. That's Juliana version. <laughs> that I just sing now. Yes, take is it that, Is that version or perversion? Ah! <laughs> 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 not joke, not joke. Anyway. Um, yeah. I don't, what happened? There's a lot of things that happened. Um, But, um, for for the longest time when people ask me truthfully i say that um the character traveled because yeah. that's actually what happened on the series mm-hmm. are you tired of putting your passion on hold because you don't think it will make you rich it's time for you to change the mindset as that and even the life you've always dreamed of hi i'm damien all on one to you when i'm here to help you unleash your full potential with the Rich Genius Program. As someone who has found his gifts and turned them into profitable ventures, I know firsthand the power of following your passion. The Rich Genius Program is designed to help you discover your gifts, find your purpose, and make a lot of money from them. With our guidance, you will learn how to turn your passion into a thriving business that will provide you with financial freedom. So why wait? Don't put your passion on hold any longer. Start your journey towards success with the Rich Genius Program today. Join me and become a part of a community of progressive people who are deploying their gifts profitably. Click the Learn More button now to get started on your path to success. All right, guys. So if you're wondering what's going on here with (laughs) Juliana's tears and mine that you cannot see... (laughs) Something remarkable has happened. So what we're doing is that we're ra- rounding off the first episode, the first part of this episode with Juliana. If you want to know what just happened, you're going to have to watch the next episode where we're dealing with forgiveness, healing from hurt, church drama, 
um, calling being called the enemy of the state and the enemy of the Christ. <laughs> and it, it's really deep and powerful. And I've decided that we're going to release that as a separate episode so that you can enjoy the full benefits of it. By enjoy, I mean like you're going to cry, actually. <laughs> but you can get the value from it. So...